if you have an Apple Watch and you're on the latest firmware update of watchOS 11, you know, you have access to the smart stacks. But are you really using the smart stack to its full potential? You see, aside from showing you some nifty information on front, it's fully customizable and there's great support for third-party apps. And so in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and go in depth and show you all the amazing things that the smart stack can do, including like launch some third-party apps, like we have Overcast installed right here, a third-party app that allows me to actually listen to my podcast using the internal speakers of the Apple Watch. And there's a jet flying above me. So as always, timestamps will be in the description down below for your pleasure. Let's get started. And let's start off with the ability for the Apple Watch to use an internal microphone to be able to quickly identify whatever song is playing. So let's say you walk into a store, music is playing, your smart stack will identify that and automatically recognize the song that's playing. So if I play music from a phone that's not paired to the Apple Watch and I hit play, if I go in the very bottom, it will automatically pop up saying that it's recognized music from Shazam. And when you click on it, it's able to listen to the song that's playing. It will automatically identify it. And just like that, it recognized the track that's playing. And here you can just select it, it will launch the actual app. It identified the song and here you can actually launch it to your Apple Music and then decide to add it to your playlist if you like. If this feature isn't working for you, you may need to go through your settings and actually enable this. So by going into your Apple Watch settings, in the settings, scroll down to privacy privacy and security right here, click on it, and then scroll down to microphone. And then scroll down to music detection. And this is where you can decide to enable that or disable it if you don't like it. Additionally, if you're playing music through your Apple Watch, you know, Rotate Digital Crown will bring up smart stack, but you'll find your media control right here. But since right now we are using a third party app, if I want to take the Parrot iPhone and do something like watch a YouTube video, Hit play. This video is brought to Launch Smart Stack. Our music media control is also located right here, where you could decide to increase the audio, decrease it, of course, pause and play, you know, the norm. But my favorite feature about the Smart Stack is the fact that the Smart Stack is fully customizable. You see, if you scroll all the way to the very bottom, this is the feature I get the most value out of as you could pin three of your favorite apps right here. So by simply clicking on it, you could launch the workout app. So by simply long holding and scrolling down, you could remove an app you don't want. You could pin it to the top if you want it to be default on top instead of all the way to the very bottom. And then tap the plus. And here you have a variety of different apps, shortcuts, as well as some complications you see earlier. You can actually decide to attach. So if you select ECG, select the ECG app. And now you see right here, if we could quickly launch that app right there in the smart stack. Think of this like the better version than the uh, actual watch face complication, as you could just give yourself more additional shortcuts and have memorized. Now, before we continue on, if you enjoy these no ad integration videos, so like a VPN and such, if you could take two seconds and kindly hit that like button, a like, I truly appreciate those because that allows the channel to be continue and be powered by you guys, the viewers, not brands or anything like that. That takes up like over a minute of nonsense. So by hitting like that allows the channel to continue being powered by you guys, not brands. So, so thank you so much for taking the two seconds to hit that like button, a like, let's carry on. Now in here, you'll also will be able to find your live actions. So if you have an order somewhere, a pickup time or something like that, that's on your live activity lock page on your phone, you'll be able to see the stats right here. So if you do like a Domino's order as an example, or a pickup order at Best Buy, you'll also see the track progress right here on your screen. And in the smart stack, again, if we go ahead and enter wiggle mode, and we tap the plus icon, you can also find check-ins in here as well, where you can check in with your friend to let them know you arrived safely to your destination. And then just tap on the contact of interest, locate them on your contact list, and then you have a faster way to quickly check in on them whenever you go to the gym, arrive at school, or arrive at a friend's house. But if you don't want the smart stack to automatically adjust throughout your habits, you can permanently fix the smart stack. Or you can decide on adding your favorite widgets, apps, and then when you click on an app, it will show you their widgets that they support. And yes, it does support third-party apps too, like just press record, as you have a quicker way to start recording, just like that. You could definitely get a lot of amazing usage out of the smart stack if you know how to use it. But as I was saying earlier, if you like to manually 
have all these icons fixed instead of automatically adjusting from the Siri algorithm, you can always just go into your settings in the main setting page to scroll down to Smart Stack. Click on Smart Stack and where it says Widget Suggestions, this is where you could disable it. So it will now stay fixed to the preference we originally left it. Nothing's going to move around. The only thing that will be adjusted is the now playing. But you can always, again, just long hold on the icon, rearrange it by just simply pinning it, and it'll stay to the top. You just can't like click and drag them, unfortunately. It just does it by pin. Additional tools that the smart stack can deliver is weather information. You see, if we scroll down, like right now, there was like a weather advice for me earlier, but it will adapt to the current weather conditions in case you're on the weather watch for a storm or something like that. Your smart stack will be able to update that as well right there. Additionally, calendar reminders will also be able to pop up on your smart stack displaying to you like your next meeting time and etc. Then when it comes to third party app support, there's a handful of some very impressive ones such as things. This app is a one time purchase, but the beauty about this app, as soon as you add it to be a part of your smart stack, this will basically allow you to display your to do list as well as any upcoming tasks. And then if you're looking for a third party weather app, that's not the native one from Apple. There's also carrot as well. It is a one time purchase, but this is another great substitute for another widget that could be supported on smart stack and will show you basically quick summaries of the current weather. And then the overcast earlier view witness allow us to actually have the ability to have a separate media control, but to the third party overcast, which allows us to listen to our podcast, use the internal speakers of our Apple watch. If your Apple watch supports it while giving you media control right then and there as well. And then flighty is another great third party app that allows you to track real time flights, tracking updates. And then the Nike run app also supports smart stacks ability as well, which will display your latest run stats. Additionally, if you don't want these smart stacks to automatically appear on some of the apps, you can also disable them as well. You see, if we scroll all the way to the very bottom and enter wiggle mode by long pressing one of the widgets, scroll all the way down, you'll see widget suggestions. And here you could disable the automatic widget suggestions based off Siri, what Siri believes you want to see first. As I was showing you earlier, but if you scroll down, this is where you can actually disable individual apps. So you can find more third-party apps you may already have installed that support this. So if you don't want drafts to be involved as an example, it'll show you the demonstration layout on how it may look like. You could disable certain ones if they feature different layouts options, or you could also disable it entirely. And that's how you can individually disable some of these or just turn them all off if you like. So those are all the amazing things that you could do with the Apple Watch Smart Stack. Again, I love using it more than I do when it comes to my watch face complications, which is why sometimes I do actually end up switching to a much more simple watch face nowadays since the Smart Stack basically replaced it all. Especially when it comes to doing workouts too, because now it actually will take me back to the Smart Stack instead of my Apple Watch face, which is in here is where I get all of the best usage out of it. And when I'm done from the gym, this simple watch face is more enough for my needs. But there you guys have it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll be sure to include links to all the stuff you've seen in today's video in the description down below, including this watch band, as well as those apps we were talking about earlier. If you wish to watch more, maybe you haven't seen the other things that the Apple Watch in general can do. I cover that in this video over there where I go through my favorite tips and tricks that a lot of people always forget and just tend to overlook. So definitely do check out that video over there if you are new to the Apple Watch. Thank you so much for watching.